hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is part three in effect of my art supply haul 2021 so far and these this video is going to be all the coloring books because i've done the pencils that i bought i have done the uh, supplies that i bought and now it's the coloring books turn because there's just so many of them all because i don't do them each month because i just don't see the point i don't buy enough to do them each month so i'd rather do them over like a six month period so we've got more to show and i just have to do it over three videos <laughs> so this is wonder morphia that i got towards the back end of 2020 this was the collaboration book or should i say combination book of phantomorphia and geomorphia now this is the only book that I haven't actually coloured in because I was a bit disappointed that some of the images in here were cut short basically and like some of the images that I really would have enjoyed to do a big double page of are not here. Half of them are but the other half isn't so I was a bit miffed off thinking but I really wanted to colour that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to colour it. So one of them was the, the polar bear. So his other half is missing. And then I think the other one was a fox here. And his other half is missing. Now I do know that people love the fact that it's a one page and nothing on the other side. Which is really unusual for Kirby's books. We all know he does his images back to back. So for that purpose this book is really really good. Because now you can do Kirby with a bit more media. You could probably do it with permanent markers. Alcohol markers. You could probably colour it with almost anything you want now. Because it could bleed through. You can just put something in between. And it won't get onto the other side. So there is pros. There is cons. But if I hadn't have seen them double pages, I probably would have never have known. But it's because I am in the colouring community and I do know that them would have been a double page. I was a bit like, oh, I feel like I've been robbed of half a picture. <laughs> so hence the reason why I haven't actually coloured in it because I just got demotivated when I seen it. But there is some great pictures in here that I am sure I will colour at some point. Um, there's some that I've got my eye on that I will colour in the coming months ahead but yes that's Wonder Morphia um, the same publisher that he always uses the same paper it's quite it's a smooth paper but not too smooth that there's not any tooth at all but you do have to genuinely put a base layer down in these kind of colouring books if you're doing it with pencil and you want it to grab to something because they are quite a smooth book but they're not the smoothest I've come across trust me <laughs> so yes this book is another good one from Wonder Morphia I just feel slightly I just want them other half pictures back. <laughs> then next up, I got The Beauty of Horror, Ghosts of Christmas by Alan Robert. And this is a holiday spectacular colouring book. I was introduced to The Beauty of Horror books by Colouring with Lou. She does also have a channel. Uh, and she, she colours in The Beauty of Horror volume books as well and... I saw this book and I was like, oh, I've got to have the Beauty of Horror one because I love horror. Everybody knows I love horror. I love paranormal things, ghost hunting, card reading, spiritual stuff. I'm into all a lot of it. So this, to bring a bit of horror out at Christmas, which is also one of my favourite times of year, was like a perfect combination. So this book was right up my street as soon as I saw it. Um, so it has got a colour page in it. I just give it a little bit of a flash then at the start. But I won't be showing it again because I want to do my coloured pages. And I don't want to show you all my coloured pages in my books that I've done. Or what I've bought outside of that colouring pages video. So I will hide it. <laughs> so you don't see it today. Um, but like I said you got a bit of a quick flash at the start of it. But there's some really great um, pictures in this, especially if you are into horror. Um, I really loved it. Now, that's my colouring page I'm just going to skip. Um, it is all about a certain character called, what is her name? Galena. 
and she's a bit of a menace going around doing a bit of killing doing a bit of horrible stuff at christmas and there's also a bit of a find it if you like it like kirby rosanne's does the same thing where they'll pop an image in the front and you've got to find it within the coloring book uh, and then i think the answers are probably in the back as to where they all are um so yeah it, it's a lovely little book the page quality in there just flashed it again didn't i the page quality is quite good it's not thin it's not flimsy and it took pencil really 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 well um so yeah they're really good alan roberts books are a really good one if you are into the dark side of coloring <laughs> that's what i said i know it doesn't go down it's not very big in the coloring community but there is a bunch of us out there that do like the horror um so i will put the link in the description to this book if you would like to get it all the links i use are just links i get off the internet i'm not affiliated with any uh links at all in any of my videos so my links are there just you, you can click on them they don't even if i was affiliated all it does is gives a kickback to the streamer that uses it so you know affiliated links non-affiliated affiliated links it doesn't matter which but i'll just let you know that mine aren't affiliated my next book that i got is the Mar maria troll one now i was so excited and couldn't wait for this book i absolutely adore the pictures that's in it the hard cover it feels like a really luxurious high quality book and in all fairness it is i mean you know it's bound really well on its pages here they're not going to come out they're stitched in and not glued in you can see the stitching if the center page there you can see the stitching in it you know it's an absolutely gorgeous book now i've got two i've got a colored page in here that oh there we go it's not quite finished but i will finish it before the colored pages one but her pages are absolutely beautiful in this book and i couldn't wait to get in there and color it there's a bit of everything for everyone if you're not a portrait colorist and you want animals or you want fruit or you want leaves plants flowers bugs houses everything is in this book you're gonna get a bit of everything including your sea life um so it is a good what i call all, all round a book so if you don't know what you feel like coloring one week this book has got a bit of everything so you can color a bit of everything now i did start a page in this book and this is where the excitement drooped for me should i say i started this page and i didn't like the paper it was horrible it is super 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 smooth like i don't even feel a tooth on it it's very very smooth now this is i think the swedish or dutch version i'm not too sure which version it was but i got it from bocus the book company um in the eu so i got this earlier than it was released and i went to color in it and i was using black widows here and i don't have any issues with blending black widows at all whatsoever i absolutely love them but in this book i really really struggled with it it was getting like clumps of i come down with the camera or i'll bring the camera up to you can you see the clumps it was doing let me just pull the zoom in so you can actually see what i'm showing you that would be helpful wouldn't it so if i pull the zoom a little bit better there can you see these clumps of like wax from the black widow pencils it just went super super smooth and couldn't get rid of them and it was it took a lot a lot a lot of um blending to get that to look remotely smooth and it was really really frustrating now normally i would put a base down now i haven't tried a base to see if it would go through but the page does feel a bit thinner than other pages i've used i'd have to try it out to see if i could put a base tone on so what i am going to do on this page i am going to put a bit of different pencils on just to see there's got to be a pencil set that goes down in this because loads of people color in luna so i need to find my one of my sets of pencils that will just go gorgeous in this book and i'm sure i'll find one but I'll do that for my own personal use 
I won't be recording it. I'm just going to find one that I'll use and then that's what I'll stick to in this book. But all being lost, if I do, unsurprisingly, have, or surprisingly, should I say, not unsurprisingly, if I surprisingly end up where I have tried all my pencils and none of them work in it, then I can always put it in my scanner, scan the page off and colour it in my favourite paper that I've got that are used for pdfs it is not an issue you can do that in your books if you find that you hate the paper in the books so long as you're doing it for your own personal use you can put your book in your scanner the sun is playing havoc with my lighting i'm really sorry just one second because the sun's going in and then it's going out and then it's going in and then it's going out <laughs> so the light's flat what's going on it's dark it's not dark it's dark so yeah, you can put it in your scanner, colour, put it on your favourite paper, colour it in whatever pencils you you know that works on that paper. There's not so long as you are not sending that PDF scanned image to anybody else, you can do that with your book. So if you ever come across a book and you're like, oh, I can't stand it because of the paper, scan it in your printer. It's you know it's easy easy fix, and that's what I will do because I love some of these images. So I will get to finding you know what images i can do in this book and she's got some really beautiful i mean these back black background ones are absolutely stunning and the neon colors look amazing in them or even your pastels would look really really good so yeah luna i will put the link in the description to the website I got mine from it's a really good website and if you've got the translator on your phone you can translate it to English which makes it a lot better and a lot easier to use um, I will put that link in and obviously now by this point you could probably get it anywhere anyway and most people have got it I'm just behind it showing you all what I've got <laughs> now next up was a uh, colour yard book they sent me this free um, and I did a review on it and just basically threw everything at it. Now, this page, I'm not going to show you the page that I coloured because that will be in my coloured pages. So I, I won't be giving you no teasers. <laughs> and I'm going to flip this upside uh, sideways because it just fits on my screen. But it's got this gorgeous metal spiral on the back. And I love spiral bound um, books. They're not going to stay there. I'm going to have to move them. So put them off my window for now. Uh, the front page is just the same as the paper that's in the book but it's just got this gorgeous smooth finish on with the design mandala nights so i'm just going to flip it this way because it's just easier because the mandalas it doesn't matter which way i flip them out but you've got your traditional mandalas in this book you've also got your non-traditional mandalas in this book which i thought was really really good like i love the hemus hand i mean i have it on my arm you know it's a very spiritual thing for me and it's my protection so i was really drawn to this page and i've still yet to color on this one but you like i said you've got your traditional ones then you've got your non-traditional type ones or your more modern looking mandalas this is beautiful you could put some real eyes in there and really do that up and make it realistic i'd love to get a picture of the world and reference try and reference some countries in there that's not already on there now this is my color page and we're just going to skip past that one i'll show you that on my color pages video that's next to come up soon as well before i'm back on my channel on sunday the 9th So yeah, they are wonderful pictures in this book. And let me tell you, I threw everything at this book. Watercolours, ink tents, um, paints, ink pads, chalk, pastels, pencils, pens, fan liners, permanent markers, alcohol markers, paints. Everything went on. Gilding went on. Everything did. <laughs> and it took every bit of it and didn't even buckle so you can use whatever you want on these books um so yeah that is the color yard mandala nights and they are really good price price books i think quite a few people bought them when i actually did the review um 
um, last time on them because of what the paper could take. It was really, really good. And it is a really decent cardstock. I'm just going to have a look just to see if it can you hear that. That's how good you can hear it. It's a good cardstock. I'm just going to see if it says anywhere because I can't remember from the review whether it said... Um, what the paper weight is i don't think it did but i could always contact fully and ask them that'll be one thing i'll actually ask them if i do review another book so the next one this was sent to me by my lovely friend kirsty she sent me this at christmas and i had the book for well the package for quite a bit let me just turn the um lighting down this is why i like coloring at night really because it doesn't um affect there we go that's better isn't it so it's the colin thompson coloring book and i didn't know what was in it and she's like i've sent you something i've sent you something i was like what have you sent me <laughs> and i guessed totally wrong and i didn't know she'd sent me this but i was so made up when i opened it and it was colin thompson because we'd only been talking about it a couple of months before that how we both really really love his work now i did a buddy color a triple buddy color basically with me and ashley colors and amazon tamit we did a whole month long of coloring so we picked a page out like the bookshelf so let me show you what it was like i don't want to show you the actual page because that will be on my colored pages video but i do know there's very similar one so for example this one and we picked a box and we coloured each box for every day of February. It was a fantastic event. I loved every single minute of it. Um, and we had so much response from it. So many people were colouring in Colin Thompson through February. It was really, really good to see because he's not a big name that you see everywhere in the colouring community. So it was lovely to see all these people coming out with all these different pictures that they colour from the books that they have but do you know the people that actually followed along with the actual colouring page that we did all month they watched and coloured along all month as well and coloured along with us it was an absolutely wonderful event and I love love loved it I'm not going to jump at a month long one again for quite a bit because I did this one and background it back to back so I did 60 days of YouTube uploads <laughs> 60 days of colouring every day for 60 days it was it brought me a little bit I'm not gonna lie but this book honestly the Colin Thompson he also does puzzles and he does uh, I think there's another colouring book I think and he's also featured in colouring heavens edition as well um, but he is so quirky and funny I, I mean you could oh this was the page oh yes so i can show you this was our page that we used i forgot i thought i'd colored in this one this was the page we used for colin thompson so we had day one day two day three i think it went day four day five day six day seven then day eight nine ten and it went round like a big spiral <laughs> so this was the page we actually used and my finished pages in the color in heaven colin thompson book because we all had the color in heaven one so i thought we thought it was for to all color in the same book plus the boxes were littler so it was a lot easier <laughs> to colour a smaller box than the big box but I did refer to this one because some things were teeny teeny tiny like this little foot here in the book if I pull that up the little tiny foot but in the book the colour in heaven one it was even smaller I couldn't tell half the details that was on so we did really really well um, but yeah, if you haven't come across Colin Thompson before, he sells his book on Etsy and you can also get it on Amazon, I think. Every now and again, it's on Amazon. But his pictures are so quirky. I absolutely love it. I haven't done a flip through of an actual flip through of this book. That's why oh, there's another colour page. <laughs> That's also featured on my um, 30 Days background as well. So these are just quick flip throughs of them. I'm not, I don't have time to sit and put all flip throughs on of my channel. So this is why I'm showing you each page, but just quite quickly. Sometimes we only need a quick flick anyway to check the books. Um, 
is something that we'd use and this is the one i've started i've not finished that so that'll be finished by the time i do my um colored pages video hopefully but yeah colin thompson is amazing artist so please check out his book so that was the one i got sent to me off my lovely great friend custer thank you thank you thank you i'll cherish that forever <laughs> and then next up oh i was so delighted when i saw this on amazon color and chicks brought her books out on amazon i'm just going to turn that light off it's driving me potty we can put up with the darker coloring let me just there we go it looks fine like that uh, it's just reflecting off the shiny books <laughs> but when color and chicks said brought this book out i was like oh yes i love it i love her images and the images you get in this are absolutely stunning and it's like i've said to a few people that's already got this book you know you don't need to color in this book scan it in so long as you're not sending that pdf out to anybody else scan your book like you can really push this book flat and get oh, i've just chipped my nail and get it in your scanner on your printer woof, scan it and you can just color that page so you're not feeling like you're messing up the book and you know i do that with quite a few of my books because the paper is the create space amazon paper so it isn't the best it isn't the best paper it's very very thin you can even see the image through on the other side it's that thin so it's not going to take loads and loads of layers and it's certainly not going to take wet media but it is single-sided so if you do want to do it in the book you can put your paper in put your wet media on it'll po probably buckle but it's not gonna stop i'm just gonna put my light back on now i've took the front page off um it's not going to stop if you put something in between should i say i've lost track of what i was saying <laughs> sorry um if you put a piece of paper in you can you know use it but you could put your wet media on if the page buckles shut your book after it's dry put it in a in between a big heavy pile of books you've got and it'll soon smooth it out um i wouldn't worry too much about it but like i said if you don't like the create space paper you can always scan it in on your computer and print them off but the pages i just love daria's images anyway she's a fantastic artist so generous you know to this community she has brought some stunning stunning works out and she's got another i think there's another two books on her on amazon now of color and chicks books so do go and check them out i will link all the ones that i can find on amazon and put them in the description below as well oh look at the cat she's beautiful so yes there he is on amazon Woohoo! so that was my next book i got and then along with this i picked up a christine karen's recent book furry and fantasy 2 i absolutely love christine karen's work and again i haven't colored in this book because it's create space paper but um i do scan these in and print them off um so she gives you all the stuff in her book all her social media her etsy store um, and then obviously about sharing colored images online you must credit the artist if you use her books and you can use hashtag christine karen and ch karen please do not share or post uncolored versions of the images of this book on facebook pinterest or any other sharing sites online so maybe i'm not allowed to show you this book mm -hmm. let me just see Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have shown colour and chicks either. So I'll just give you a quick flip through of these because the angle I've got them at, you wouldn't be able to get them coloured off anyway. So I'll just flip through it quickly where there's a a clause on there. I don't want to be in trouble. And I'll just check with them. 
I'll just check on YouTube if there's other people that have obviously got the Christine Cameron books then obviously that'll be all right otherwise I'll edit them out <laughs> but yes the beautiful furry and fantasy 2 by Christine Cameron one stunning stunning book and she's an amazing colorist herself that is my next purchase now this one the symphony of cute animals was referred to me by Sammy our lovely colour and chat with Sammy and then our cat Kylo Colours told me this gorgeous shop that's just by me on Etsy so the, the shipping's really cheap and I got both my books from her these next two books from that store so this is Symphony of Cute Animals and it's absolutely gorgeous now they come with this folded kind of outer layer and then of this plain colour book so we, if you like these on or off you can take them off they, they quite annoy me so if I was to have this I would, on my bookshelf or anything I'd probably no doubt take that sleeve off <laughs> they have these gorgeous little postcards that you can cut out in the back but again these images are really good there's lots of animals in here buildings mainly buildings animals fruit um i don't think there's any portrait or people in these books um but they are quite busy pictures i did start one on here but the paper oh the paper can be really temperamental it was it's all right it's gorgeous it's not smooth smooth it's lovely paper but it has i don't even know what you can call it like a blemish so some parts of it colors really well and then other parts it just goes it feels like you're coloring on really really thin paper um so i did these budgies a bit further up and i got these to do um sammy's page which was the where was it now it is in here somewhere I'm sure it's in, yeah this one was it this one I think it was this one was Sammy's body color and I got it to get that so I played around with the page that I did before I wanted to attempt Sammy's for the birds now this has not been finished I've still got to finish but if I bring this up to camera so when I did this bird the paper was fine didn't have a problem at all I got a slight bit of a problem here with the paperwork it wouldn't layer over and it was like what is wrong with it and then it did it again here and it wouldn't take the dark layers I don't know what it was I don't know if anybody else has noticed that but this here this slight little section here that you see that's dark should be that color all the way down and it's like I kept putting the pencil on and it it, it just wouldn't take the pencil I don't I don't understand what was going on with it but as for the other birds you know it was going really really well and I just thought oh this is really frustrating me now <laughs> so I will try and finish it and I'm going to see if I get this on any others I might actually be my little project over the weekend to finish this page because there's some gorgeous flowers in it and I really want to try and battle at this paper because I don't know what it was but it went really really thin you can see on this here you can kind of push it all in where it kind of stretch it's like it stretched the paper out and then it just wouldn't take any more layers so there's no green there where i wanted it to have green and it's just it's frustrating me so i'm going to do his finish him off and do his little partner and then these are done because this one was a budget but this one isn't but i've done him like a budget anyway <laughs> but I, honestly it's it's a gorgeous book to get but the paper was just a bit strange and when i was actually doing the live stream where I was colouring colouring the birds, a few people said that they didn't like the paper or the paper was a bit funny. So it I don't think it's just me. I do think across the board um I think a few people have had some issues with it. I'm just toning this brightness down a little bit. 
so it's not just me but it is it's a gorgeous little book um it is only small so if i put this compared to the a4 this is an a4 christine karen's book so you can see there that it, it is only a little book it's not a big book um but it's a dinky gorgeous little book so that is the symphony of cute animals which then brings me to the ken matsuda book now i got this from stationery corner exactly the same store um she just gets all kinds of Chinese books in but the postage for me is better because she's in the UK so it's a lot cheaper for me this book can I tell you I absolutely adore it it's gorgeous I love 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 it um and I saw this on Connie's channel I think it was Connie was coloring in this one I'm pretty sure it was Con yes it was Connie because she was coloring the rabbit and it was absolutely stunning. And I think, have I done two out of this one? Let me just have a gander outside of here. Because I'm sure I've coloured two in here. There's the pig. Yeah, I have. So they're on the same page. So I'm going to make sure I don't show you them pages. <laughs> so if I go from back to front... But you get the the artist's illustrated image and his coloured image. So if you like to um, use the artist's page as a reference and try and copy it, it's a really good way to bring your colouring skills out. So trying to match up the colours and getting the combinations right. It's really, really good, especially some people, especially me, like how writers get writing block, I get colouring block. And I sit there and I think of it and go can't think of any colours I want to use on it I just can't my brain's not functioning it's not in creative mode and you can just go to the back of here and go right I'm going to recreate the artist's image and it just but you'll start off doing the artist's image but then you'll just go off on your own tandem and bring your creativity back and boom you just start you've started their way but then you've ended it in your own way so that's good you get every single image but they're like animals but morphed and everyone who knows me and follows my channels know I love a bit of morphing. So I like artists that morph things and I also like morphing my colouring um, from one thing to another. So this book was right up my street. When Connie was colouring in it I was like what is that book? I need it. It is gorgeous. So I think um, once again I think Kat told me that she sells it in the shopping stationery corner i was on it i think it was the last one she had in a store as well at the point and i was like woohoo and it came within a few days and i was working on it this was the one that connie was doing when we was all watching her on a channel so that's cbb's coloring if you don't know connie she is a wonderful wonderful colorist so we've got the fox and monkeys. Now this has got my coloured imaging, so I'm going to have to skip them four pages. <laughs> um, and I'll show you that on my colour pages because they are two of my favourite images, them two. And I did them water media. So I'm giving you a teaser there. Told you about them, but I've not showed you. <laughs> so then in the front bit here is basically an illustration and a step-by-step -step on how to colour Ken Matsuda way which is also really good if you're a beginner or even some like me who's been colouring for well over a year you know we all need to keep learning it's always upskilling and stuff like that so I absolutely I mean look at these illustrated images like I could cut these out I put them on my wall they're that beautiful you know stunning stunning books they're beautiful absolutely beautiful so this was the because i have done a review so if you want to see how that went check out the review on this book and you will see what this is all about so that is the ken matsuda again it's got this um cover so it's just the same color but just in gray with this sleeve over the top in color i can hear a bee trying to get in my eyes <laughs> best not find its way in next up was when fragile world came out and i was like oh 
because I love this book. Now, this was his Endangered Animals ones and oh, it's so different to what we are all used to in this book. Um, so again, you just get the same illustrated front bits that you get in Kirby's books. And then, <gasps> it came in. Just bear with me with it. It's going to freak now. But I can't have that in my eyes. Get out. Get out. And I'll have to leave the bee <laughs> thing in. <laughs> Sorry everyone, my head's in the thing and everything. <laughs> I can't have wasps or bees in my house. It, I, I, you know, I don't mind. I wouldn't kill them. But, oh, it makes my heart start racing. <laughs> so I had to quickly open my window. And it was one of them. It's got a safety catch on for the kids. And I had to pull it back. And the wasps, so the clip's here. And the wasp is there. And I've had to pull the window back to clip the clip. And it was coming close. And then flung my window over to <laughs> Oh, I'm all sweaty. Honestly, they freak me out. They freak me out. They freak me out. Oh, let's get back onto the task in hand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so yes, the real strip back. There's none of his little doodles in here. It is pure reference to the actual nature of these gorgeous animals. So, so beautiful. Um, you've still got the morphing going on. What's typical with Kirby and how he's works as an artist absolutely fantastic work and i love the fact that he's still morphing his work in there but there is i like going from front to back so in the back he's give you each page what that animal is and its history to it so you can go and look these animals up and then get your reference pictures on how to color them and what they look like and your combinations and everything but i'll give you a quick flip through this because obviously it's a quite a big book um i think i've done a review on this i think i may have not done actually if i've not i'm sorry but if i have then great <laughs> but i've been behind with my book reviews honestly i really have but these are stunning now this is a colored page but i haven't finished it i did these with my uh who fine liner brush markers um I love them, but I've just not had time to finish it. So I do need to finish it and then I can get it on as my colour page done. And then I also did the uh, big butterfly at the front of here as well. Do you know, I was seeing on Instagram, someone's done this and then done the fruit bat, but done the um, fruit all skittles. It looks absolutely stunning. So if you've seen that, you'll have to let me know in the comments below because it was absolutely amazing what they did with that picture this one i definitely want to color at some point and then i've still got to finish this page that i did um with i think was it artesa mark artesas i think i used on this one so yeah this book is fantastic and sammy did the this one so if you haven't seen Sammy's version of this, it's stunning. Head over to Sammy's channel and check it out. Absolutely beautiful. I think she used the super colours, Karen Dash super colours. Uh, so yes, that was Fragile Worlds. Then next up came this beauty, M's Colouring Creation on Instagram. She messaged me with these books she was my enabler of the day for this one and she's like shell have you seen this book and i was like no so she sent me the flip through i think on lucy's channel oh my gosh when i seen it i was just like i've got to have it i've got to have it it's just like kirby and it is just like kirby but then as i was going through it i'm thinking it's very similar to kirby but it's also very similar to johanna basford there is very a lot of similarities in it but it's an absolutely stunning book so stunning that i actually bought it and sent it to my friend kirsty <laughs> and surprised her with the book she's like you sent me color <laughs> circle of life I was like yes i did um so this is a gorgeous book again i have done a page out of this on my channel where's the thing there so i'm just going to put that there so i don't accidentally show you the page because then there's no point me doing a coloured pages book if i do that <laughs> so let me skip 
past this page. So you'll have to skip them two pages. <laughs> Sorry. But honestly, it's an, for the price of it, I think I got this for a five quid. Five smackaroonies. And it was mine. And for the amount of work that's in it, five quid's nothing. <gasps> I've just done this. They grew the caterpillar and it went into its chrysalis and then I've just let, let them all go. Oh, it was amazing as well. I absolutely loved it. I think I was more into it than the actual kids were. <laughs> I was like, they were like my little babies. But I love everything. So it's like from the seed, from the seed to it growing, to it sprouting again, it's flowering and then dying. And it's that theme all the way through. You know, it's an absolutely stunning, stunning book. This, I'm sure I've seen this somewhere else or something similar in Joanna Basford. I must admit. But it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. So that was my next purchase. And that was by Mel Pompian. Shazipan Agudu, uh, I think. <laughs> Sorry if I just slayed your name. And then my next, but honestly, a lady called Karen emailed me saying, I need to introduce you to an artist that I love. And I was like, oh, who's this? So she sent me a link to Jane F. Hankins. She said, I think you love Quirky, you love all the weird stuff she said you will love Jane's books and I absolutely love them so this one was sent to me from Jane herself and I was like oh <laughs> and her images are the funniest if you haven't seen my flip through of this book and the next one I'm going to show you Honestly, I can't stop laughing. They make me chuckle. It's the teeth and the noses. And every time I'm looking through them, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm not going to turn and flip because if you do want to look at the actual um, video, what I've done of these, they are in my playlist under flip throughs or reviews. I'm not sure, too sure which I have it under, but it's under one of them too. So I'm just going to quickly flip through, even though there's some on the sides. But honestly, these books make me laugh. There's one, the, like these, look at all these birds with these great big hooters, these noses. I was howling, laughing. Um, but I've not finished that page, so I can show you. I did that one with um, uh, gelatos. So I need to finish that so it can go on my colour pages. I'm going to finish it with Castle Arts, though. So I've got quite a few to finish. I've got quite a lot to finish. But Jane's books are the funniest. I get they're not everyone's cup of tea. Look at teeth. <laughs> I just love it. It's so funny. Um, and then she's got little words within her pages as well, which is so nice. So there's this one. Um, and then there was her Extraordinary Magical Friends one as well. Now, I bought this one um, and got this sent to me. And this one is gorgeous as well. So don't forget, if you do like Jane F. Hankins' book, if you go to both either review from Imaginary Forest or Imaginary Magical Friends book review, there is a link in the description. If you click on that link, you will get yourself 20% off your order. And off one of these books, it's a good, nice little chunk off. And it might mean you can buy something else. <laughs> the more you buy, the bigger your discount, you see. So let me just pull this up a little bit more because these books are quite big. So these are the 9 by 12 She does do an 11 by 14 book as well, which is a bit bigger than this. Um, but her images are gorgeous. And I'm so thankful for Karen for emailing me and introducing me to such a wonderful, characteristic, full of joy artist that is Jane F. Hankins. She is an amazing... And they, honestly, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and then Angie said to me, Angie uh, Clarkson said to me, this just reminds me of Tammy. So then that made me laugh even more. So now every time I see this page, I just think of Tammy. 
So I'm going to have to colour it and dedicate it to Tammy. <laughs> the crazy professor because she's a teacher. <laughs> oh, but the, honestly, like... Oh, and thank you for the lady for telling me what film that that propeller was out of. <laughs> <laughs> well they never fail to make me laugh these books they're absolutely amazing oh that one is a finished page so i'm not going to show you that one but i've done that on my recent live stream so these two books both spiral bound both got these outer covers absolutely fantastic books so like i said please go and check out those um but full book, book flip throughs i go through everything on there talk a lot more about the pages and what's in them and obviously if you want to get these books there is a discount where you'll get 20 percent off so that's them ones and my last book out of this bunch of haul is amarantine by anastasia elicaldrova i think that's how you pronounce it anyway I uh, hope I didn't just slay him. Now, I haven't had the joy of colouring in this book yet because I've just been colouring in other things. But they are absolutely stunning images. And do you know what I love about these books? Yeah, the paper's smooth and I haven't tested them out yet. That scares me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But I love how light she's done a line art i love light liner because then when i do my realism in the coloring art attempt to do my realism it's it's better because they've not got a big harsh line so i that's one thing or one advantage that i do really 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 like about um anastasia's pictures i mean they just draw you in the beauty of them just pulls you in they're absolutely stunning. And let me tell you, colouring with Vicky, she is on maternity leave at the minute, but she colours out of these books and wow, 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 wow. She she does these colouring books justice. She is a stunning colourist, so please check out her channel. And I probably won't remember everyone's channels that I've just... <laughs> looked uh, i've shouted out in this video so um do look them up if i've mentioned uh, a, vid a, a channel they may not necessarily be in the description because i just spout channels out sometimes and i forget who i've said where and when <laughs> so honestly i cannot wait to color this one i am definitely 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 coloring this one soon you all know what i'm like with my horses and i've got a perfect horse in mind for this one to color so watch this space with this one but it's an absolutely gorgeous book and i ordered mine direct from anastasia her actual website and it came really really quick really well packaged complete i think it was in bubble wrap actually so i got it was really really well looked after and packaged really really well for its trip from the eu to the uk and i love how she's got these stickers on just this little tiny icon for anastasia it's so cute but this was my last purchase so i hope i haven't bored you all talking and talking and talking for nearly 50 minutes but i hope that i've brought some books that may enable you to buy but before i go i've got some what i call throwbacks <laughs> they're just some that's been in my collection for a long while that i've never done a review on they've been sat in my drawer that i haven't colored in 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 any of them so i thought it's nice to do a bit of a throwback just to introduce maybe some people that haven't seen them before so these are some of my throwback ones that i've had absolutely ages so first up i've got the rainforest escape by jade uh, gideon and this was 250 and i've had this how long have i had this book well before i started my channel i've had it a long time these are in my drawer of non named or non what i would say my drawer of my non-coloured books so when i do a colouring haul like this i'm also going to bring out some of my 
ones I've had for a very long time and not coloured in them. So you can think, oh, I'll have a look if I can still find that book. So this is Rainforest Escape. It's an absolute sunny book. It's very thick. It's like a good inch and inch, maybe more. Uh, where's my little ruler? So I was gone. The kids are probably taking it. Or is it in here? Let me look. Well, we can gather. It's about an inch, so I don't know where my reel has gone. So it's just about an inch or just over. It's massively thick. Let me just move some of these other ones out of the way, actually. I actually nearly forgot to do these then. It was only say in the 50 minutes bit, and I was like, hmm. So, yeah, this book, I'm going to try and do a big flip. If you want me to do a proper flip of it, I will do. But you get all these pages that have got a perforated edge on them. So, these are what I call like your wallpaper style pages. I do not colour these wallpaper style. But then you've got like a bird, but then it opens up. You get certain pages that then open up to a page like this and it's like a watercolor paper that is on there or it is a watercolor paper we just double check i'm sure it is color on high quality one-sided perforated medium art paper premium not medium premium art paper plus 10 huge fold out drawings so i'm sure you can use she also has island escape so I got it for £2 actually, I got it for not £2.50 <laughs> from the works. So then I'm trying to get through it. So you've got like your paint effect ones, flowers, leaves. There's a bit of everything in here. Quite a busy rainforest. And then a duck bill kind of thing. And another pull out page. Some more flowers, trees, birds, clothes, beach clothes. Is that a folding one? No. It's hard to tell which folding because your page is really, really thick. It's really good paper. And then another fold out page with different types of fish on. So that's pretty good. It seems to be that there's another pull out here. That's all different shells. Oh, you know what? I better actually fold them pages back in because if I don't, I'll get myself in a bit of a pickle. Got another fold out page here. So these are your cats. See, this one's got a bit ruined because it's been on the bottom of my drawer. It's kind of bent. Look at that, how gorgeous would that be to do a gorgeous like sundown or a sun, what do you call it? Not sunrise, sunset. <laughs> My brain went blank then completely and then a nice water effect. That would be really good with watercolour. And then we've got another pull out here. It's all like rainforesty Caribbean type of colouring book. All different types of birds if that's what you're into like a house or a log cabin chalet oh glass glass there's my page didn't know there was glass in this book i would have done it before now there's another one with a little bird sat there so these are my throwback book so you may be able to still get a page like this with a lizard in it let's look bit turn the wrong way so a bit of a story of what the book's about it's an absolutely stunning book and it I, it was the paper that drew me to it when i was in the shop and i was like oh i really really like this one but i have had it a long time when was this produced I should tell you really 2016 so it has been out quite a while and i've had it well over a year well over a year so that's one throwback and then i've got the royal collection trust maria marion's butterfly coloring book now these books are where you've got your 
coloured illustration this side and then your illustration and you, you just colour one side and try and match it up. Um, and I love realism as most people know so I picked these boots up a long time ago to get into that realism state and I got these books to help me out with that really so I can put some palettes together and some plants I have no idea what flowers are what what plants are what and I was like well how would I even know what colour they are if I don't know what they are so this book helps with the identification of some of the flowers and I'm sure somewhere is there no not it might be in the other one I've got another book that is very similar so I'm going to flip through it really quickly but if you like bugs and leaves butterflies and stuff this is a really good book to get um especially if you're a flower person it's a really good book i haven't colored in it yet i don't think but i have used it a lot for different bugs that i want to color in so there you go on this page there's a little number in the corner and then these are this will probably be better in the back uh, but it tells you what they are and so that one's like a tiger winged butterfly and a flannel moth so it tells you what's in each picture what flower it is what kind of leaf it is what kind of bug or fruit that's on there which is really really good so that's another throwback and i only got that cheap as well i think that was about two or three quid now these i've had since um Sammy did the little foxes out of this book. Where are they? Ages and ages ago. I'm sure it was this book. Yeah, Sammy did this ages ago. I think she did it with Ink Tents a while ago on her channel. And that's how I ended up getting this book. I absolutely love the colour my sketchbook range. He's got wild, he's got all different types. The list is endless with them. But the illustrations inside are absolutely gorgeous. Like I even said, I'd take that into a tattoo shop and say, can I have that as a tattoo? Some of them are that good. Um, the detail in them reminds me of the uh, Tim Jeffs, actually. You know how good some of them are. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's cute. So cute. And the eagle. You know, so his books are really, really gorgeous. If you haven't come across uh, Colour My Sketchbook books, then definitely, definitely look them up. And it's by Bennett Clean and May Clean, if I pronounce that right, or Clen. And then this is another Kew Gardens Beautiful Flower and Plants colouring book because I really struggle with leaves and plants again. I bought these so I could try and identify some flowers what artists use in the pages because I have no idea. I'm not green fingered whatsoever. I don't do gardening. Um, I don't do plants, flowers or anything. Mainly my husband's really, really bad hair fever so I don't have them inside even cut flowers. <laughs> so I don't even know what half the flowers are that I see in colouring books. So I got this book in the hopes that it would have some species or something close enough to it that I could get a colour palette from so I knew what I was doing. And it also helps when it comes to colouring flowers, you know, when you've got them there and you can see where they are. You know, it helps you with them. So this is a good book. I've not come across any yet that's in this that's, that an artist has coloured. But I do like how you can challenge yourself really and try and do a palette. It's gone really dark again. The weather doesn't know what it wants to do. I think it's going to thunder. But yeah, it's an absolutely stunning, stunning book. These Kew Garden ones. So I'm going through them quite quickly. But yeah, I've not really bought these to colour in. But it's just mainly for these pictures really that I got it for. And it was cheap enough. Um, to buy it for that reason and if one day I want to start colouring it I mean there's nothing wrong with doing that um, but it was more so I could kind of find out what um, species the flowers are and then again you've got your this is where it tells you what they are 
and then I can also once I know what they are on there I'll look them up here I can also look it up on Google then and get see if there's different color variations of that plant so that's another throwback book and it doesn't actually say it's just the Royal Botanical Garden it doesn't tell you who's the illustrator but I got that for three quid I think it was and it's quite a big thick book and then lastly from the works I got the sacred symbols coloring book coloring book for the soul now I've had this absolutely ages as well because like I said you all know I um, do Reiki I do my spiritual stuff I do cards um, so this book was right up my street when I seen it I absolutely love it it's quite a bit of a mandala type of book and it's got so the symbol for journey the symbol for expansion celestial heavenly return tree of life guides eternity rise longevity equilibrium balance love and that does say love doesn't it? it's gorgeous awaken unity fidelity interconnection connecting you from the universe to you endurance awakening symmetry prosperity protection look ta -da! <laughs> again see it's a good thing i have it on my arm timeless foundation strength continual trinity cosmos dimension spheres ascend shield union harmony cycles creation and the start and it's so who's this by harper collins and the illustrations are by linda hess but this is such a beautiful book the paper's lovely in it you know it's quite a really good paper they are um obviously they've got a symbol on the other side so if you colour through it would probably damage this side of the page so it's whether you want to use markers and stuff on there but it is it seems like a really good paper in there so yeah they're just a couple of throwback books that i wanted to share with you all as well so i'll do that when i do bring my colouring books i might give you a, th a few throwbacks at the end of it but thank you very much everybody for watching my colouring book haul video and I hope that some of you have got enabled. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and I'm so sorry about jumping all over the shop when the bee came in. <laughs> Thanks very much everybody for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.